<laughs> this is so scary. <laughs> We have seen some breathtaking scenery as we've traveled around Tasmania, from ancient rainforests, incredibly tall trees, impossibly high sea cliffs, majestical waterfalls, pristine beaches. It's just beautiful here. But nothing prepared us for the scenery in Ben Lomond National Park. And the scenery is just part of it. What we really came here for was this notorious section of road known as Jacob's Ladder. We weren't sure if our van would make it, and I'm pretty sure this is the most scared I've been on our entire lap of Australia. We begin this episode in Derby, the mountain bike capital of Tasmania, where we met up with our friend Peter. We had planned a couple of days riding here, but as Nigel's still recovering from his broken ass accident, Pete and I did a short ride together, dodging wallabies and riding through an almost pitch black tunnel. It was awesome. Then we said farewell to Peter and hit the road. Good morning, friends. Morning. <laughs> We're leaving Derby this morning and heading further up into the hills. We're going to make our way today to Ben Lomond for a really spectacular little section of road called Jacob's Ladder. On the way, we're going to Scottsdale. What's in Scottsdale, night? Beer. <laughs> another day, another brewery. Today we are visiting Little Rivers here in Scottsdale. Oh, it smells good. Oh. So rather than getting a paddle, we've just got ponies, which is a, I think it's 200 mils. Anyway, little glass. We've got the Tassie Cerveza, which is lime and Kunzia. No idea what Kunzia is. The pale ale and the dark lager. After sampling a couple of beers, we got back in the van and hit the road. Though, in oh, it's just stunning. Like, Beautiful. we've had little glimpses of the mountain. We've been climbing for how long? Still got another 20 minutes to get to the top. Yeah. Going through all this really tall timber. It's so beautiful. And again, we've got such a perfect day. <laughs> Never rains in Tassie. <laughs> well, I've been reading the reviews of people that have driven up here in complete whiteouts or gotten to the top and not seen a single yeah. thing. Yeah, that'd be... I mean, it is a ski field. Yeah. Look at the Yeah, amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's nuts. We just kind of stopped in the middle of the road here. Oh. Oh my gosh, <laughs> guys, if you can see, well, you oh. can see because we're showing you on the video what we're looking at right Shit. here. Oh, we've got tears in the eyes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's so beautiful. <laughs> this is just magnificent. Amazing. So, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a lookout up there. That's where we're going to be driving. I'm actually a bit scared. I'm glad it's Nigel driving because he's the best driver in the world, but oh, it's a bit scary. <laughs> so yes, we're not in Ben Lomond National Park, we're in Drone Free National Park. <laughs> oh my god, can you believe this scenery? Just had a stop dead in her tracks. So this car's just negotiating the final bend in the distance. That guy just stopped and said to us, it was very scary. Now I'm even more scared. Man, oh man, can't get over this, um, this scenery. It's incredible. So beautiful. Now I'm just jumping in here to say that this is one of the hardest sequences we've ever had to film. 
We used multiple cameras and Nigel actually drove up and down Jacob's Ladder twice so I could stand up at the lookout and film because you're not allowed to use a drone here, of course. And it wasn't just filming it that was hard, it was really tricky to edit it all together as well. So we hope you enjoy this little glimpse into the adventure that was Jacob's Ladder and hope it gives you some kind of the feeling that we had, you know, the awe and the wonderment, but also being a little bit scared too. Up traffic, give way to down traffic. This is so scary. <laughs> so that's the first switchback. Because we're a long vehicle, we lose traction because we had actually probably two wheels off the ground. <laughs> well, Susie's having a bit of a, she's having kittens. Down, Nigel. <laughs> and we're coming to the next switchback. How many are there? Six. I'm going to go down at the first gear. Yeah. Because the problem is you, you've just got to find your find your line. This one looks a lot better. This, this one's a lot better. Yeah. I haven't got my eyes closed. Yeah. Friends, I'm being brave. <laughs> that, one, <laughs> that one was all right. But now, now we are in crawl the gear, so we're in four wheel drive and crawl the gear, which is a uh, low range. <laughs> this is epic. So we've got uh, two more to go. I'm like sweating, like. <laughs> I so I need to turn the aircon up. Oh, this is amazing. Look down that. Oh my god, I feel sick. Alright, oh, we're going to go down the first gear again here. This one here looks a bit hectic. Because of the... Um, the rain runoffs and it causes those channels and there you go and uh, you lose traction but we didn't tip over season. Nigel stop <laughs> it! Well, it was probably, <laughs> it's probably a bit over the top. You can make jokes when we get down. Wow look at that. This is getting the adrenaline going. Woo! Far out. I'm going to come down yet. I think I'm walking. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Well, you'd be pleased to know that was the last switchback. We still have to go down. <laughs> so we're at the top of Jacob's Ladder now. That was seriously nerve wracking. But oh my god, what an experience and what a view. So we're taking a quick walk now out to the lookout that we could see from the bottom when we were looking up. This landscape is just incredible. Yeah. 
so I'm here at the lookout getting ready to film Nigel driving back down it's just a little bit cold up here the wind is bitter oh wow that was cold out there while I was filming Nigel you right, you ready yeah I'm ready let's go now we're heading down Nigel just told me it's scary yeah now the fun part I think I have my eyes closed for a lot of it <laughs> So we're just going to cruise down. It's and so steep. I don't like it. We're going to go down slower than we came up. Good. This corner here is a bit of hectic. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, lose the brakes. Oh, so I'm glad you're such a good driver. I'm not a very good passenger. <laughs> this is the advantage of the um, four wheel drive and, and crawler gear, low range. Just letting the engine um, break us downhill. Yeah. It's cruising down. You wouldn't come up here in a two wheel drive sprinter, would you? Oh, geez, I doubt it. I, you'd struggle to get around the, those um, rutted corners. Mm. Just don't have enough um, traction on the ground. Oh, look at that as you come into the shadow. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's so beautiful. This one's called Black Corner. Each corner has a name. It's one of the better corners, that one. It's yeah. quite docile, that one. It's a nice one. When Nigel drove down this section by himself earlier, he'd met a car coming the other way. I don't know if he actually saw it as it was coming up, but from above, I was pretty nervous. All right, so he's pulling over. This last one's a bit hectic. See all the ruts in there? Oh my gosh, so, yeah. yeah. All right, eyes are going closed now, friends. But on the way down, I'm gonna I'll just bump over this there wide right. line. It's called Strickland Corner. It's completely messed. Oh, <laughs> you breathe, breathe, Susie, breathe. <gasps> All right, I can breathe now. We're down. Well, we're around the last corner. Yeah. Oh, good job, Nigel. She's a legend! Woo! <laughs> we spent that night in the Ben Lomond National Park campsite and enjoyed a beautiful sunset. The next day we drove down the hill and made our way to Liffey Falls, where we met our friends Valentina and Jimmy from back home. It's taken us five weeks, but we finally have the campfire in Tassie. <laughs> so good. Good morning friends, we are saying farewell to Vale and Jimmy. They're heading off. We are going to go walk to Liffey Falls this morning. We're leaving very late this morning. <laughs> we're, up, yeah, we're up very late last night. We're we in the campfire which was... Past midnight. Yeah. Very late. So this has been a great campsite. We're in the lower section. It's quite spread out. There's one toilet, it's not nice and peaceful. Bit of, bit of wildlife around, we had petty melons and uh, cheeky possums uh, in amongst our chairs, tables and chairs last night. No yeah. platypus or wombat, sadly. No. And we still haven't seen a Tassie devil. Ah, so I thought it was a three kilometre round trip, but three kilometres one way to Liffey Falls. Now nah, we'll just go to the falls and back. Yeah. Here comes broken ass. <laughs> How are you travelling there, well, mate? I'm, I'm almost keeping up with you.
come to a junction in the track, we can walk on to Liffey Falls that way, which is another five minutes. Or we can make our way up there to the Upper Cascades, which is a further five to 15 minutes walk. And now let's go and look at the Lower Falls. So we've just walked down the steps and we're approaching the actual Liffey Falls now. There's quite a few people here and I think a lot of people drive to yeah. the Upper Falls car park and yeah, just walk, walk down, down yeah. rather than doing the hike all the way from the lower car park. So even with a broken ass, Nigel's done the full hike. <laughs> well, halfway. <laughs> Still got to get back. Negotiating across the creek. I'm going to have a go here. We're going to look in the falls. Let's see what our BA is going to do here. few people here sadly but how cool is this? So beautiful. When you're trying to get the ultimate shot and you got annoying so-and-sos in the background breaking stones. We did manage to get this one shot which I love. So we have spent a bit of time enjoying the cascades at the bottom of Liffey Falls and now we are going to take the walk up to the Upper Falls. upper cascades but you really can't see it very well at all there's lookouts but there's just there's trees everywhere in the way <laughs> We hope you've enjoyed this episode you can catch up on all our Tasmanian road trip videos here join us next time when we complete our Tassie road trip at Cradle Mountain but will we see a Tassie devil Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.